Hello, and welcome to another episode of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Craig Barton. Now, <laughs> a little bit of self-indulgence here with, with this choice of resource, because I've got a bit of a soft spot for the main content of this. When I, when I went to uni, when I was an 18-year-old, um, so I'm from the north, and I, w I went down to Cambridge, and I thought, I want to reinvent myself here. I want to get a bit cultured, because I was not cultured in the slightest. So I thought, hey, now's the perfect time. So I thought, what's a good way to get cultured? Let's buy some artwork. Now, by artwork, <laughs> I don't mean any kind of hundreds of pounds worth of paintings. I mean, like, three-pound prints of art. So I was like Googling who is cultured and up came Kandinsky. He was kind of the in thing at the time. So I bought myself a load of Kandinsky prints, put them all over my bedroom thinking this is going to make me the cultural icon I've always wanted to be. Surprisingly, it didn't quite work, but I've always had a soft spot for Kandinsky. So whenever I came across uh, this resource, I was thinking to myself, please let this be good so I can, I can feature it. And thankfully, it's an absolutely wonderful resource. So it's been uploaded by eCook04. Um, and it is perfect for use with any year group, really. But I think possibly the younger, the better, because it's a really nice way to introduce students to the importance and the basics of measuring and create measuring angles and then creating angles and, and basic shapes. So let me show you what it looks like. It's a PowerPoint. It's quite a biggie. So it might take a while to download. And it looks like this. So it starts off um, in a quite straightforward way, and I don't mean that kind of negatively, it just covers all the basics and it's really nicely animated as well. So you've got the different types of angles, and then you've got the basics of, of your angle facts, then you start to look at your parallel lines. So you can see straight away, in fact, this would be really good to use for revision with year 11 class, even if you didn't use the, the rest of the activity, just for these opening slides. Uh, triangles, um, all your basics of that, exterior angles of triangles, not many students know that one in my, in my opinion. And then we get on to it, Wazili Kandinsky. I didn't know that was his first name. So you'll see some of his wonderful artwork here. So some nice prints of it. <laughs> that was the one in fact I had just above my bed there. Um, and there's some more wonderful stuff here. And then you get some facts about him. Look at that, $20 million his artwork is selling for, not bad. And then you get the first task and it's really, really nice. So students are given um, a copy of, of one of Kandinsky's paintings and the author says you can do this in black and white, but if you can stretch the color, it's obviously gonna look miles better. And the challenge for the students is to go around and, and measure as many of the angles as they can and label them as acute, obtuse and, and reflex. And you can see Kandinsky loves to use lots of straight lines and geometrical figures in his work. So it lends itself perfectly to that. So straight off students get a chance to, to practice measuring angles, but then it goes a bit further because He's a big fan of using kind of, um, I'm doing X factor here, um, intersecting lines. So you can check whether angles on a straight line are 180, whether vertically opposite angles are equal and so on. You can even, if your students are up for it, um, check whether lines are parallel by measuring angles and seeing whether you've got alternate angles or corresponding angles and so on. So for example, is that angle there corresponding to that angle there and so on. But then as well, if I just go down, you've got loads of different triangles on there. So can students measure those angles within the triangle and check do angles in a triangle in fact add up to 108 degrees? How accurate has their measuring been? And it's something that I often take for granted, the fact that students can measure angles and they can't, you know, especially when they're a bit wonky and so on. So it's great practice. Then you've got loads of quadrilaterals. He's a big fan of using that. So we've got possibly a trapezium up there. So again, get students to measure the angles, get them to check, is it a trapezium? How do we know from measuring the angles and so on? On, so it lends itself really nice to that. And then we go back to a more standard um, lesson because it's going to tee us up for the final task. So here's some really nice animation on constructions, exactly how you should do it to construct triangles and so on. Uh, constructing another triangle this time with an angle. So you can see what we're, what the author's doing here is he's arming the students with all the tools they need, whether it's knowledge of basic angle facts or triangle constructions for the big task that's going to finish. And I think it's a lovely way to finish this. Say to the students, can you produce your own Kandinsky style painting? And there's some great guidance there of things that you might want to include in there. And, and once they've got all these basic skills and they've seen kind of Kandinsky um, at his best doing it, off they go to do it. And you never know, you might just find your own budding Kandinsky in there. My advice if you do, get them to sign up to give you 20% of any royalties they made. Cause if Kandinsky is making 20 million, you don't want to be missing out on that. But even if that doesn't work, I think the kids will have a great time. They'll practice some really important constructions and some measures and you might just get yourself some lovely artwork for your classroom. So I thought that was just a really, really, really nice activity that I'll certainly be using with my students. If you enjoyed that, hop back onto the TES page, leave, you, leave a review for the author, and I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.